old Nintendo gamer. And son. Hello and welcome to Old Nintendo Gamer and Son. That lovely little music in the background is Mike Bithell's game, Thomas Was Alone. Now I reviewed this. Let's have a quick uh, oh, scenario select. Surely I can't. Uh, yes, I can return to the main menu. Um, I reviewed this when it came out on Wii U. I was uh, fortunate to get a review copy and I reviewed it for an old website I was working for, Nintendo Review. And we're gonna go and look at the demo version of the Switch game. I did thoroughly enjoy playing this when it was on Wii U. It the programs a failure, people forgot about it. it was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the AI as a joke. Thomas AT23612 wasn't special, it was just an AI in the right place at the right time. Thomas was alone. First thought to have. So you move with the L and you put Thomas into the end goal. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Now if I got a pause, I the voiceover, the FX volume, I need to slide that down. The music volume is far too loud as well. Let's see if that's better. One, the whole alone thing. The whole alone thing. Not the voiceover needs to be louder. Two, portals. That's they better. Lead somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. So there's this um, voiceover going through the entirety of the game, talking about Thomas. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... Jump. What's the word? Jump. It worked. Oopsie. Mm-hmm. A big jump, but Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Man, paranoia. So sometimes the uh, speaking is slower than you can actually finish the level, so... Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right. There's um, an added uh, rumble feature in this now, which I'm not. Every time I land, I can, whoop, I can feel that rumble. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him he wondered why was the world testing him no too obvious something about the boiling toxic glowing water intimidated thomas he didn't like it he that's a respawn point it. so he thomas made another mental him. note four Water. Not good to be avoided. Thomas sinks like a stone. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note taking could combat that. It's uh, pretty accurate, you know, you, you 
soon as you take your finger off the off the jump uh, the the analog stick as you push in you, you lose all momentum the so. world was training him ah, he could feel himself getting smarter there was the mental list to consider you are an AI. The minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation he'd become a pretty skilled jumper he was evolving he just wished he had someone to share it with. <sighs> Will Thomas have someone to share it with? Well, if you can see the top left of my uh, video screen. I submitted hundreds of bugs reports. I told this idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts more than one AA was bound to be spawned into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point. That little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? So if I press L and R, I can swap between Chris and Thomas. Look, oh no, Chris can't jump as high as Thomas. So what do I have to do? I have to use Thomas to get Chris over to the end point. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but He'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, right, not can't actually, get you. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Oh, you cheeky monkey. Building the world in front of me. There you go, Chris. Chris is home. Let's get them. Um, Thomas back to his place. There you go. was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Great, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. I don't Thomas. Surely Thomas can just jump straight across there. Lovely. Another level done. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together. A brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped oh, the next portal would Chris. split them up. If only for a few levels.
Hey, Chris. I'm faster than. Hey, we got another one. Another skinny jerk. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. I can't jump now with um with Chris. Okay, I need Chris on top. And as soon as I put Chris on top of Thomas, I can't jump. But oh wait, 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 wait. can I move Thomas? Oh, wait, wait. Can I move I can move Thomas though. This and then this. There we go. This a stair would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. <laughs> nice one, John. He was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Bush. Where did they come from, anyway? Can you jump over, Chris? Quite an extensive little demo. I was only expecting to do the first time. Um... John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use. Time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. Just get you as far as you can. So you're kind of doing levels three times at points. There might be even a point where. can jump over. So even Thomas needs a little bit of help. Ah, but before Thomas needs a little bit of help, can Chris get through? Yes, Chris can. Okay. Whew. Come on, John. <laughs> Still going. Amazing. 1.9. Happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help oh the dear. little guys. Oh dear, I am now done for as John, I think. Can John. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Chris. Manipulating pairs. John can get up very easy, can he? So Chris up here first. You shot that through, Chris. Another way to do it is to 
just do this. You see? I wonder if Thomas should be able to make a jump straight away, to be honest. Right. Uh, I'm gonna create some stairs for Chris to get. so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Well done, John. Oh, Chris can make that. Okay, good. Can he, however, make it up here? No, but he's at least... immediately likeable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Say, Chris, you are bloody annoying. Come on, Chris. Thomas, your turn. There you go. Alright, that was a slightly longer level there. Alright. 1.9. Oh, 1.10. Okay, this let's get to the last one. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Right, Chris. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Oh, dots. Uh-huh. Surely is the end. Demo version. Thomas was alone. It's available on the Nintendo eShop. The game itself goes obviously into a number of other characters. There's a big uh, floating square called Claire who has weight issues. Uh, she's a big blue uh, cuboid esque lady. And it goes further and further into um, mechanics of this kind of puzzle platforming elements. And the DLC, which was free in the Wii U version. Oh, I think it was later added to the Wii U version it is included in this uh, full version if you do pick it up from the Nintendo eShop and it includes this green block who is uh, the ability to fly and feather um, you, like, a, like a rocket ship which is also an interesting mechanic which was added later to the game so if you do like this uh, kind of puzzle platformer Thomas Was Alone is a delightful one with lots of um, talking over the top of it as you can see and I think you would enjoy it. Thanks for watching all Nintendo Gamer and Sun as we delve into many demo versions of games. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.